So Glide is all about being the user interface for your business. You bring in your data from different sources, you show that data in useful ways, and then maybe you add actions and automations and artificial intelligence on top of that. One of the most important first steps though to making your data work in terms of the way that you build software is by connecting it together. Now, if you've worked with relational databases, the idea of a relation or this connection between data will make sense to you. But if not, I'm gonna give you a quick overview now of how relations work in Glide so that you can start playing with this idea with your data. So we have two collections here or two data sets. We have the products and then the categories, right? At the moment, when we go to the categories, we just have these empty categories. So this is called central components right here. But ideally, when we, when we go to this category, we wanna see all of the parts that live inside of this category. Similarly, when we go to this product here, the lithium iron power pack, it says it's part of central components, but there's no way of like clicking on central components here. We want to have a link between these two so that the relationship actually works in terms of the user interface. And this is where you start working with relations. Another example might be, say you're in an app that has employees and the locations that they work in, team members or the countries that they live in, for example. You might have a list of uh, team members and you go to a team members page and it says, oh, they live in Argentina. And then you click on Argentina and you're in the Argentina page and you see all of the team members that live in Argentina. That's an example of a relation and how that would might appear in a user interface. So here we're gonna do it with products and categories. I'm gonna go over to the data editor because that's where all of this starts. And I'm gonna move locations down so that we're just working with products and categories. Now, when you work with relations, you need to have matching data in the two tables that you want to relate. And this is already here, but if you don't have it, then you need to add this. So for example, in the products table, we have a column called category, and this has the same uh, data types, the same names, central components, as the name column in the categories table. And this is the first part of relation that you need. It's matching data between tables. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna first create a relation column inside of the products table so that we can create a link to the categories. And then we're gonna to go to the categories table and do the same there. And then you'll see how this appears in the user interface. Because at the moment we can't actually create that in the user interface because the, the structure in the data doesn't exist. So I'm gonna right click on this column. Sorry, I'm just gonna click on this drop down here and I'm gonna add a column to the right so that it's right next to it. And I'm gonna search for relation. Now this is probably one of the most common columns you're gonna use all the time. And I'm just gonna call it relation to category. You can call this whatever you want. So the configuration for this basically says, relate items where the value in this column matches the value in another column. And this will make sense more when I've done it. I'm gonna click into this column here and you can see that, uh, to this drop down here, and you can see that we have all of the columns in the current table. And I'm gonna choose the category. And we want to match it with the column that's in the categories table, right? In the categories table, we only have two columns. We have the name and the description. The name of each row is gonna be the, uh, the category itself. And when I click this now, we're gonna start seeing this relationship appearing. And we're gonna leave this match multiple as nothing because there's only one category. I'm gonna go over what I've just done there because it can be, excuse me, a bit confusing when you first do this. What we did is we found matching data. In the products table, we have this category column, and in the categories table, we have this name column, and both of them have the same type of data. We can see that we'll be able to link central components here to this central components row here. Then we added a relation column, and we made sure that the category column here is matching with items in the categories name column here. And then we hit done and we have this relation. And relations come up in these kind of nice little pill icons here. And when you click on it, you can actually like view the data in that, uh, in that column. This is like a little mini view into the relation of that item. So now that we have this data relationship in the products table, we can show this category on each product and people can click through to that category. But before we do that in the UI, I'm gonna do the same in the categories table with the products so that we can pull back all the products that belong in that category. So I'm gonna add a column to the right. I'm gonna call this relation to products and I'm gonna search for relation column and I'm gonna hit enter. Now here we're basically doing the opposite, relate items where the value in name matches the value in the products table in the uh, category column. Now, when we click that 
just then, we see that we've got one item coming back. And this is a single relation. It's bringing back the first item it finds where the category name is central components. But critically here, we want to click on match multiple and we're going to then get all of the items that come back. So this is a one to many relationship rather than a one to one relationship. And if I hit done here, we can then browse all the different things that we see there. And we can see now we can actually look and even edit the data in that table, which is a really powerful feature of the data editor. But now let's go to the UI and try and uh, show this in two different ways. We're going to start on the categories uh, themselves, right? So uh, these don't have images, so they don't look amazing at the moment. I'm just going to get rid of this description. Uh, <clears throat> you could add images, for example, that represent central components in general. But for now, I'm going to keep it simple and just like have a list here and remove this image. If I click on central components, what we want is a collection now showing all of the items that are within this category. Now, when you add a collection component, uh, uh, you get to choose the source for that collection, right? And you're used to choosing probably tables for the source, but Glide has already realized that there's a relation inside of this table and that it's picked that, and that is gonna then show only the items that belong in this category. And we can prove that by, if we change the uh, meta description to be the name of the category, they're all gonna say central components. Similarly, if we go back and click on connectors, we're only gonna see the connectors in here. So this is how we show a multiple relation inside of a collection. But what if we go to one of these items and we wanna click through to, uh, that's one I created earlier, I'm just gonna delete it. Um, if we wanna click through back to the category, right? So what we can do is we don't have to show a collection. We can actually do this on a button, right? And we already have a button here. So I'm going to just change the action here and I'm going to change it to um, uh, show details screen. So show details screen can be uh, this item, right? Or it can be the relation to a category. So this relation wasn't there earlier, but now that we've made it, what this will do is it will take us to the connectors category. If I hit go, we're going to be taken to the connectors. Similarly, if I go to an item that is in peripherals and I hit go here, it's going to take us to the peripherals category. So, uh, but what we want to do is probably change this button to be something more understandable, like, um, go to category. Um, and let's move this button up to the top here, for example. Maybe that's not the best place for it, but you get the, the basic idea. So that is multiple relations and single relations and how you would show them in your UI. There are many, many other reasons why you want to create relations. For example, you might want to show all the people a manager is in charge of, or populate a choice component with only the items that are currently available. You could look up individual values from other tables, calculate the total of all items sold, and much, much more.